What's up, YouTube? Uh, we are in the Volvo right now, just kind of flip-flopping vehicles around. The skies are kind of sort of clearing up. We got a little bit of rain this morning. But lazy Sunday start. I totally forgot that uh, my buddy is doing kind of a bachelor party ride thing. Not necessarily your standard bachelor party, but guys, girls, everybody's kind of going out for like a good old hoorah. So I got to go get on a bike and get the soft tail prepped. I've been ripping it around, it runs great, but I'd like to put an air cleaner on it just because we got intermittent weather and I'm sick of my jeans getting sucked into the carb and me thinking the bike's dying because it's just sucking in my leg. But uh, we're gonna run over to shop two. I just stopped at shop one. Found a set of throw over saddlebags. We'll strap that onto the fender real quick in case we gotta bring anything. Might bring the GoPro, we'll see. And then uh, we'll go over the sporty that I took apart yesterday uh, off camera. I was riding it, the last time I rode it, the front brake started locking up on me. So basically, by the time I stopped the gas station, the front brake was pretty much fully locked on the wheel. Popped the bleeder screw open, depressurized it, and brake was working fine again. Uh, I got a rebuild kit on the way for the master, but I did pull apart the entire master cylinder and clean it all. Um, I didn't see anything noticeable. There wasn't anything too gunked up. I'm kind of hoping I can throw some fresh brake fluid in there and it'll work. If it doesn't, I do have a rebuild kit on the way. Um, I'm guessing it's the one passage in that upper or the O-ring up top isn't sealing the way it's supposed to. I looked over in the master. I didn't see anything messed up on there. I'll go over that a little bit more in detail once we get there. So I'll be at the shop in a couple minutes here and then we'll take a look-see. Made it back to the shop. Here's kind of where we're at on the Sporty. I left this here last night, but master cylinder is off. Brake switch is all working on this, so we don't have too much. Oh, you guys are dirty. Don't have that much going on with this, but the brake lines are all separated, top and bottom. I kind of blew through that, made sure everything was good there. And then new master completely cleaned out. I don't know if it's going to work or if I do need new seals in here. Everything seems to be working proper. You know, kicks out, it returns. I don't have a tripod today, so doing this one-handed is kind of a pain, but, you know, I hear air moving. We'll kind of see. It seems a little slow to return, but we'll kind of feel that one out. And parts are on the way, so that might just stay there for a day or two. But we need to dig out the soft tail. We need to pop the seat off, throw the throwover bags on, and then throw the air cleaner on here. I think we should be in pretty good shape. It should just fire up and run. So unfortunately, no tripod. I'll try and figure out what to do on this, but let me get it out of there. Okay, first thing we gotta do is yank off the seat, which is one bolt in the rear. Uh, 7 16ths, I believe. Oh, shit, this might be a half inch. Normally, they're 7 16ths. Uh, helps if you get your wrench in the right way. We're doing this one-handed today. So the bolt's gonna drop through because I don't have a stud on here. But that's fine. There's the bolt on the other side. So that should get me the seat removed. And these crappy throwover bags that we're not even gonna clean up. We're just gonna toss them on here. Uh, not crazy, not a crazy big fan of these, but uh, I have them and they're free. So. With that in mind, I think they're gonna work just fine. And this is kind of our long haul trip. I'm trying to figure out if I want the flaps forward or back. I think I'm gonna put it. Kinda like the idea of having these extra pouches on there just for quick grabbable stuff, but that'll be just fine. Yeah, really embracing that dad bike look. Perfect. Throw the seat back on, and then we'll come back when we get to the carb. Saddlebags are on, seat is on. Grab the tool roll off the chopper. Fingers crossed, I won't need them on this bike. 
but we are riding around with some other people on older choppers, so it's nice to have some stuff. But uh, now we gotta do the air cleaner, which I have over here. Now I don't have the actual SNS bolts for this, so I just grabbed some one inch quarter 20 Phillips that I had in the garage, but I hit them with an angle grinder. So I'll bust out the trusty thread chaser kit, grab our quarter 20, and we gotta rechase these. It's not my quarter 20, that's the top one. So basically all I'm gonna do is take the bolt, like so, and run this chaser through a couple times. Man, not having a tripod's really difficult. I don't know how people do this one-handed all the time. I'll set you guys down right there. So quarter 20 bolt with a thread chaser. I didn't round the end of this as much as I would have liked to, but I'm kind of in a rush because we are leaving in about, well, we were supposed to leave about 30 minutes ago. Like I said, we forgot about this one. But get it started, and we'll just work this through. Like that, let me grab a wrench. And it's really only the end. Then I gotta make sure it's nice and smooth. I don't wanna mess up the threads on an SNS carb. Much easier to fix the threads on this than try and patch the threads on the carburetor itself, so. There we go. Now this should thread right in with the air cleaner. So that's one of three. Let me do the other two and then we'll put the filter on. Dan off to get married. Yeah. Oh shit. So you gotta get like some like angles in. Like <laughs> we got we got bad bikes for fucking life over here. Yeah. Except for Tim. Tim's doing Except shopper. for Tim. Tim's doing Tim's shovel. Tim's doing for us. You know, we're just over digging. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <It's> all right. <laughs> it was the great thing that got me. Tim, you didn't get the memo. Oh, reliability. That's a thing. He, Never heard of it. Bike broke down. 
that doesn't sound right. That's the best three minute ride ever. I have no idea. You said bye bye. What'd you do? I'm gonna push this thing. It's, it's an uphill. It's heavy. It's a slight uphill grade. We don't want to do this. It's heavy. It's heavy. That's no good. Well, I mean, you could probably run it. Like, it's gonna be a little pushing at the first time. Storms everywhere. Broken clutch cable. I get to load it in the truck, but we got a chase truck today somehow. Not the worst thing in the world. Better. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, as long as everybody's yeah. good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Could have came back. We could have done this on the road, but this one's better. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can get by for a while without a clutch cable. You know that is. Every time we fuck it's up, buddy. Hey. What's that? Yeah. Clutch cable snapped. What are you doing up here? That one? Yeah, we were just there. We were just there. Yeah, we were just there. Yeah, we, were just there. Yeah, we were heading to uh, bunker and then uh, that, that thing just decided to go on there. Oh, so we made it about 20 feet down the road that way yeah. and the cable snapped. Oh, yeah. So funny, I saw your suburban just pull up to the stop and I'm like, yeah. oh, shit, it's <laughs> Gus. It's a decent day. Just dodge the rain everywhere. Don't worry, Amanda's getting footage. Turquoise problems. That's it. All right, Mike, you still have to ride it the whole way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, eight, the man. Look at this. Like, actual having an eight foot badge, you can pull the dog in with a bike. That's fine. That's fine. So, Jess is up there. Who's she riding with? Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, it might be easier. I'll just put my feet down and it stops. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take a. Uh, yeah, it's good. That's surprising. Right, man. Never awesome. my bike. Yeah, no, well, why, what the hell? You're for, you're one have, it's like getting a flat, it can happen to anyone. They carry guys. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you got Thank a chain you. like 10, then you don't got a clutch cable problem. Is that cable back here already? That ain't on the bike. Right? Bring in dad oh, bike problem. Okay. Bring it to the dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we made it from that bar <laughs> to uh, here. <laughs> right here yeah. Good ride. All for you, Dan. Even you get
a fender light. <laughs> I'm already soaked. I'm not. It don't matter. Anymore. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Bachelor party. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. They're really, really good. I've heard all of them. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I've heard <laughs> the things. I've heard, I've heard all of them. Yeah. Look at this idiot. Doesn't even have a fender. <laughs> 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 Don't no, 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 no. Oh, okay. So. Fun, wet. Yeah, it's all we'll take you home. One breakdown. Unexpected one. one. Clutch cable snapped. Oh. Tim's bike made it back. The one expected to break down. Soft tail. Did not like the rain. Had some issues. And bumped the idle. Got through it and turned it back down, and now it's fine. Nice little bachelor party. That was a fun ride, to say the least. We got soaked, absolutely soaked. I had the phone on the phone mount, so whatever videos I got from that. Good times. Wouldn't be a uh, summer of riding without getting caught in at least one torrential downpour. But overall, everything went well. All the bikes made it, minus the clutch cable on the Evo, which was kind of unexpected, but not mine. But the other soft tail in the group, clutch cable snapped leaving. We caught a ton of rain after that, but Made it back home last night. Soft tail sitting in the driveway, still getting rained on today. Cause I don't have, I have no bikes in my garage, but it's trash and I haven't cleaned anything. Nor did I want to deal with that at the end of the night last night. We'll deal with that still. I still gotta go pick up my truck, which is fixed. And that pretty much wraps this one up. Congratulations, Dan. I hope you enjoyed your uh, bachelor party ride, if you will. Got you nice and soaking wet, chasing rain, running from rain, hitting rain, all of those fun things. We'll catch you guys on the next one.